Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Castle Rock. I'm your host, Mr. MacArthur Lover, and right now we got to talk about the 1946 presidential election. My goodness, this portrait of Douglas MacArthur is very unsettling, but polls in the 1946 presidential election have just closed, and the winning both the White House and a large number of congressional seats is the Democratic Party. Whoops, my finger slipped. Oh, well, more Mac Daddy for us. Um, we still got a lot of things to do here. Oh, we're doing with all those focuses, but... And we also have to continue the war with the good old Reich's Pact, which someone said was completely unnecessary, which they're not wrong, but rebuild American railroads. The railroad networks that cross, crisscross America are in shambles. And more air constructions are jerry-rigged to older tracks. Congress has approved of rebuilding our railroad network in the form of a mandatory third rail electrification. Electrified tracks will force their energy grid to reform as a result. Let's talk about oil production. The oil fields in the Midwest burned as the country was fine. We must control these fires, stop future sabotages, and invest in synthetic oil to ensure that more of the country can make use of vehicles. Also, another comment was, uh, I'd like, I comment on your comments, or like I say what your comments are. Also, we've invaded, naval invaded Spain using just infantry, but we're trying to invade using Marines as well now. Um, yeah, I, I often try to read your comments, you know, if I get to it in time. Sometimes I record videos early in the morning. It just depends whenever you make your comments. So if you make your comments early enough, hey, I got your brother. Very nice. But if you do make your comments like early enough, if you watch a video and make comments, like I will try to address it. Like I, that's what I always, I always keep a list of uh, things I or comments I always, I want to address during the videos. So spoilers, I try to read as many comments as possible. So. All right. Well, we've invaded Spain. Let's see what we can do. As you can see, there's a lot of enemy divisions around here. Holy crap! And we also are in France as well, which we've been pushed out just a wee bit. And we're trying the best we can. We'll do the best we can here. If things don't go great, then so be it. But, you know, overall, it's they're definitely going. It's definitely going. South, oh, it's not South, no. Africa, well, we're doing okay. We're doing all right. Not great, but we're doing all right. Um, yeah. The war, I just thought we might as well go to war here just because we can, for the most part. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to hold out as best we possibly can here. Oh, boy. True on is a rock. And make sure we get a lot of supply through here. Lots and lots of supply. Just like down here in this part of Spain, too. Because the Spanish... Well, they've been trying the best. Ooh, oh, my goodness. That's a lot of convoys. Holy smokes. Where are the casualties? Uh, quite a few for the Japanese. Uh, South America don't really care, don't know. Adrian Boone is still somehow alive. And we've lost that many guys. Union Burns lost 1.5 million. We're worthy the Entente, of course, which is good and all. Which... Oh, no, we'll see what happens with India. Uh, we've killed off quite a few of the good old folks from the Reich's Pact. How many Germans have we killed? Only 1.4 million, that's all. Russians? Oh, yeah, the Russian... Yeah, they're a puppet of Germany, but whatever. Oh, they're attacking us here, too. Attacking us over here, as well. Attacking us down here in Spain. Oh, actually, we could link up. That would be quite awesome. Yeah, please don't lose there, guys. Please don't lose too much. Oh, that is so not good. Come on, connect. Anything else here? We have, like, no chromium. There you go. You should honestly be able to get in there, win, and hold the line. But I guess we'll see. wait and see what happens. That's why we need a force here. Go and force the defense for now. Yeah, that's pretty... Pretty spectacular, as some might say. Spectacularly good, spectacularly bad. It's just spectacular. As we're just defending like crazy, just like... You see the Poles here, they're, they're trying their hardest. They're trying so hard. And austro Hungarians have been holding out pretty darn well considering their position. Oh, they don't scrape in the barrel. They must... Oh, they... Oh, they... Oh, wow. Yeah, the Germans are completely out of equipment as well, which is pretty nice. Get some more entrenchment, because... Just... It's, it's good to get entrenchment. Can we actually push out? I can, I'm kind of scared to push out, man, to be honest. You guys definitely cannot. Can you guys push out? Not really, no. They're desperately trying. They're sort of winning over here, though. Uh, actually, if you guys help out, you guys should make the front line together, so. Oh, try, try, try. They are. Where are these guys? These guys are down by tanks. We want to take out Liberia, I guess, as well. So. Let's see what happens. If it goes well, great. If it doesn't, whatever. Well, you guys are trying your best. Just hold it for now. Oh, we actually did link up. Look at that. Nice. If that's the case, we're going to both go... You go right here. that. Nice. That could be a lot, lot worse. Very cool. As we're still singing a lot of convoys and stuff. Like, this is, this is going pretty darn well for us. Two more escort cruisers. There we go. 
And we're doing pretty darn well. We sunk a lot of German ships. How many, how many ships does Germany have left? I think they still have quite a bit, but... Oh, uh, yeah, they still have quite a bit. Spanish have, like, nothing. Which is great. Yeah. Trying to fight through here is going to be a pain in the butt. Rebuild American Road, but that oil production there, there... At the very least, I would like to at least finish off the focus tree, but we'll do Fate of the Unions. It's time for Congress to hear the testimony of rebellious unions. Some are calling for just their chair people to resign, while others insist on collecting transcripts of union meetings, paving the way for prosecuting all active members. Uh, I feel like we don't really need that. Get some more cat, maybe? We could probably use more rubber. No, actually aluminum. Of all things, we need more aluminum. Alright. Oh, look at that. Wow. That is kind of nuts. Yeah, we don't have a good position here, but we'll see what we can do. We're definitely holding out as best we can. Holy crap. It's got smaller than I remembered. This is kind of nuts. Legislate freedoms. Oh, yeah, we have, like, no stability either, but it's alright. Get some more weekly stability. That'd be pretty good. We can get some more stuff down here, too. Uh... Ooh, what happened here? 15 convoys. Nice. Oh, we have seen it. Send some convoys over. That's not good. Recon company. Let's get some more recon... Co Actually, we already maxed out logistics already. Darn it. That sucks. 13 more convoys. Good, good, good. Anything else here? No, we're done with that stuff. It is 46. We'll grab some of that. Ooh, we lost two... Ooh, two subs, huh? Couple more enemy subs. That's not, not too bad. Oh, we got someone... Oh, we're trying to rescue that person. That's fine. Yeah, some... They're just... Love attacking sometimes, man. I swear. Can we actually win here? Yeah, in some areas, yeah. You might just try to keep it up, actually. We're not winning everywhere, but we're winning in quite a few places. That seems pretty good for us, actually. Some mechanized would be very nice, too. Um, we are just fine against these guys, which would be nice. Obviously, we won't be able to win in Spain a whole bunch, but we'll try the best we can. We don't have a lot of planes, either, so... Oh yeah, now we have definitely Germany on all fronts here, which sucks. Yeah, Austria is still holding out, still barely holding out. Oh, hello. Modern subs, very nice. Yeah, if you guys can't win it, that's fine. Just don't lose too much. Level four. Level four. Four. Three. There you go. Goodbye. One, two. That's it. Cool. Nice. Lots of convoys going bye bye. And this is pretty much a meat grinder at this point. Ooh, if we can get into there, that'd be great. But we let the guys move around first. Let's let them move around. Supplies are pretty bad through here, though. Oh, they're really bad. Why? Is it because of uh, local supply naval base limit? Okay. We can fix that. Oh, a lot of lag. I mean, it is 46, but whatever. Whatever happens. Okay, why is there so much lag? Holy crap. Hmm. Austria capitulated. That's why. Should have seen that one coming. And now they're being released. Italian Empire declared. All right, then. And... Claim Nice with a resurgence or dentism. Uh, since we united the country, Italian Empire has laid claim to the state of Nice, currently held by the U.S. of A. See, American citizens in the region are understandably alarmed, though native Italians have already started protesting in the streets and demanding that they, they be reunited with the motherland. Well, crap. Now they're going to come and try to kill us, too. But you know what? That's okay with me. Let them all come in at the same time. See if we can hold them off. See what we can do about these guys. As long as we don't lose, I'm okay with it. Get more damage? Yes, please. I mean, just let them attack, 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 attack. That's Honestly, I like that they reunite all of Italy here. That's actually really good. Ooh, they're releasing those guys too, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Yeah. Oh, the Belgrade Pact is led by Romania, huh? So now we have... Is that Croatia? Yeah. Them Croats. Kind of ugly, but that's alright. Nice, we can circle those guys and kill them off. That'd be awesome. Oh, they're attacking us here too. Huh? Oh, they must have, like, navally invaded. Okay. That's fine. Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, we actually have green air. Look at that, huh? Go figure. Oh, God. Oh, they gave Italy... 
Dalmatia, huh. Oh, I guess Germany's just going to keep Austria. Not on terrible borders, but still, it could be better. Oil production, fate of the unions, my friends. Fate of the unions. They are attacking like crazy, which I like. Rebuild America's roads. No effect. The state-funded interstate highway system was easy targets for sabotage. We must cooperate with the states in order to ensure safe commerce to travel through America once more, of course. You know, I'm not going to definitely, definitely don't want to attack them while they're trying to kill us off, but, you know, still. Uh, get recovery rate. That's not bad. You... Fortress Buster, probably, if we have enough command power, but which we don't right now. Yeah, we doing... We doing work here, man. Trying to go over there. How much manpower do these guys have left? Market liberals, huh? No ships. Quite a bit. Seven million manpower is quite a bit, too. Holy cow. Don't get me wrong, I definitely want to attack right now, but, like... With them attacking like this intensely... There's really no point to even try anything. Let's see, National Highway Act? That's not bad. National Health Care. Uh, stability? Yeah. Immigration Act of 46. Why not? Nice. Good stuff. Alright. There you go. Oh, we sunk a battleship. That's very nice, too. Whole 41 divisions just holding out as best they can against the onslaught of the Reich's Pact. In two different spots. Actually, how's Africa doing? Still doing quite well until we invade the Liberians with our tanks and uh, mechanized. Yeah, that's a bit nuts. Spain, once Spain falls, like it hopefully will start a domino effect. They're on the scrape in the barrel. One of the thirds here. They're completely out of equipment and artillery. Oh, no, they have a wee bit of artillery. Not much. Just a wee bit, though. Just a wee bit. It's three, five, six. Okay. How's, uh... How are we all doing here? Oh, we're just doing stuff in Germany. Okay, that's fine. Um, capture Cypher. That wouldn't be bad. Cryptology. Kingdom of Spain. Doing the German Empire still. Well, if that's the case, better collaboration government, just in case, maybe over here. Probably better do it in Spain first, but that's alright. Cool, cool, cool. Let them attack again. They're going to keep attacking for quite a while. We already know. That sucks, bro. Oh, the Volca Izalco Volcano goes back to normal level activities. Despite uh, the recent panic regarding the Izalco Volcano. Oh, look at that. Uh, our geologists report that the volcano has finally returned to normal activities while it's still having normal eruptions of ash and lava towards the southern sector. The people of San Sonat and Canis rest easy as the volcanic activity starts to recede. Thank God it's over. Huh. Yeah, I don't want to inter interrupt them while they're killing themselves off here. How much manpower does the Ukraine have left? Everyone has so much manpower left. Well, I guess they've been on this construction for, for level for so long, so they just got naturally just a ton of manpower, but still. Why do you guys not have more upgrades than this? I don't understand. Can you guys actually win here? Is it possible? That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. We'll see. Um, Are we done with air stuff? Yeah, we are. Well, not exactly, but yeah. Alright, so if you're about that, please go right ahead. We don't even have enough command power to do anything here, really. I'd love to force the attack, but we're doing okay-ish. Yeah, we're not doing great down there. Uh, alright, alright. Not bad, not bad. Just, how many have died? Just, just 9 million from the Reichspact alone. That's all. It's a cool 9 million. Oh, do you? Oh, and a couple divisions there? That'd be pretty cool. And they're still attacking like crazy. Look at them German boys. I'd love to be able to just push out of here. Really don't think we can, though. Or, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Huh. <laughs> Liberalized trade? No, we're okay for now. I would like more stability, though, yeah. Trust busting? Oh, please. Yes, please. Rebuild America's roads? 
National Labor Relations Board. With the Civil War over and Reconstruction underway, the questions of trade unions have been brought up. Something that we should promote more liberal and anti-syndicalist trade unions. And to be a war against influence of syndicalism and politics. A few loyalists within the AFL and the defunct Knights of Labor are willing to cooperate with Congress in creating a National uh, Labor Board Relations Board. This board will be able to isolate IWW affiliated unions and give collective bargaining rights to unions that do not wish to see us hang. However, others regard all trade unions as traitors to the country and should be outlawed altogether. Congress decided to outlaw all unions except the AFL and the Knights of Labor and the NRLB. Yeah, we'll do that one. It's our political power, but that's alright. Electrification program in order to accommodate the mandatory third rail as well as ensure the safety of the more remote parts of America. An electrification project is approved across all state lines. Congress is now pulling the state governments to fund transformers and hydroelectric power as it is their responsibility. Even more recon? Nice. Go in. Do it again. Keep pushing. The Marines and the infantry are just doing so great. Oh, get even more offensive. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We love it when we offend people. And for naval stuff, let's go get this one too. And we'll also grab this one too. Even more heavy attack, more light attack, you know, all the good stuff. Oh! If you get in there, we can circle a few divisions. Yes, please. Oh, yes, yes. Oh! What is this? Oh, just a combo. Darn it. Huh. I was excited for that. Ah, uh, literally three weeks left. That's not bad. Nice. We're slowly moving through Spain. That's awesome. And Switzerland is slowly holding out too. Like, they're doing pretty okay. Oh, what is this? Advanced subs. Yeah, nice. Oh, better cast. Yeah. Nice. Where's the cast? There you go. Good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. Oh. War Department moves into the Pentagon. While the construction of the Pentagon is still ongoing. The War Department decided to move the trans the move to the incomplete building, so as to not to share space with the Navy staff anymore. Even though the building isn't even complete, a new expansion is now lovingly called the Pentagon, has already been authorized, and then the five wings, the three remaining ones to be built, shall have bigger offices accommodate the War Department staff. Let's hope this is the last expansion. We'll stop so we can get a little more planning, and then we'll continue just just murdering them with our artillery. Uh, Banking Act of 46? Yeah, we're going to need more stability where we're headed. Oh, boy. Oh, are we actually pushing? Oh, wait, no, they're pushing us out. You know what? Just in case, just hold. Because they're just, they're just pummeling our guys. Constant pummeling. Constant, constant, constant. Even though we're kind of doing the same thing to them. But still. Still. Just a couple of naval bombers, that's alright. Yeah. Air production, it's not bad for them. Uh, yeah, they're out of equipment, look at that. Yeah, somewhat. Somewhat. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. You guys are doing great jobs around here. Yeah, I know it's Africa, and no one loves Africa except for some Africans. Not all Africans. Only some of them, but still. Giving us that lot of rubber. I wish someone else would take out, uh... The on top, but whatever. That's all right with us. It happens. Yeah, yeah. This was taken over uh, uh, earlier off screen just because I forgot to guard the area. My bad. Oh, yay! Liberia time. Let's see what these tanky boys can do, because everyone knows we love tanky boys. Ah, oh, yeah. Scout cars, Marines, Mountaineers. Get some of that too. Um, I don't really care about killing the Union of uh, Britain, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for us trying to kill off other people. We already have enough enemies in the world. Maybe. Oh, the Entente's over here. Well, crap. That's not good. Oh, well. Still attacking us, huh? Goodbye. Farm subsidies. Uh, it's necessary to sub subsidize farms for crops we are in need of, and paying farmers to terminate their fields of lost assets for products like tobacco we don't need right now. But we want the skilled labor <clears throat> to still be available. Oh, we got Madrid, my boys and girls. We got Madrid. Not your Madrid, but Madrid. Oh, once these guys are gone, we're going to heavily push through France. Like, once Spain is gone, that's going to be really good. Oh, no. Oh, do we actually expand here or something? 
We might not have. We might be getting pushed out slightly here. We're going to need more fighters, too. We're going to need more stuff in general. Oh, we got a massive navy. Where are the fighters? Oh, there they are. We already had 150. Holy crap. And we still need more aluminum, too. Fourth of July, very nice. Hey, oh, well, god dang it, Liberia. It's fine, whatever. Well, he doesn't like us, pretty normal, huh? Where did our normal? Fate of Ivory Coast, uh, the Ivory Coast, once a German colony under Middle Africa, just got annexed in Drug Lord's Empire. Its inhabitants now demand a competitive administration take care of, uh... Uh, tax or conscription? Should we try to govern them from a capital? Or would a local limited government work better than it as a solution? Nope. We'll come back to the other one in just a little bit. So, More rubber. Holy crap, we need a lot of this stuff. Serbia, Norway, we're going to get destroyed when we try to import anything here, except for this one. Yeah. That's fine. It's not worth much, but whatever. We'll take it anyways. The state of Liberia, founded by an American company under the wish to bring American blacks back to Africa, has always been peculiar. Under the loose control of Americans for years, the country has now fallen before our might. The Liberian identity is strong and trying to annex them directly might prove itself inefficient. Officials in the country calling for the establishment of a low Liberian state instead, which we do. Military occupation, of course. Yeah, this is brutal fighting here. Yeah, we definitely probably want to pause it real quick. Just go ahead and recover. It's totally fine. Um, I kind of apprehensive to actually send up our guys up here just because supply could be really, really bad, maybe. But, oh well, the show must go on. Honestly, what have you guys sent oh, one up there to? You're going to lose a lot of subs doing this, but that's alright. Uh, what do we have left? A battleship? Go we'll send them there too. There you go. Nice. Oh my gosh, they're they are attacking all across the entire front. All across it. What do you got here, Leslie? Nothing? Alright, whatever. You're down here in Africa still fighting a god awful war? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't like Africa either. Yeah, we're doing this just because we're going to cut them off eventually, so. Um, five, four, three, go in. Oh, we got G-Word. Nice, we got this uh, little African state down here, Katanga. Good, go ahead and build that up too. Oh no, we're fighting the Finns. Whatever are we going to do? Oh, oh, we got Spun. Espana. I guess just Spain, but whatever. Oh my goodness, that is so nice. Go in, go in. That's actually really good. Spanning like quite a few divisions too. So we'll clean this all up, and we'll push through France, into Brittany, into more France, and the France again. Uh, National Highway Act, you might as well. Thank you. How much political power are we getting? One point, that's pretty good, 1.62. That's pretty darn nice. Do we any upgrades here? No, can't even like it. Really afford to give them upgrades, but that's alright. Here. You're still getting attacked like crazy, which is fine. Look at all this just craziness. Can you actually push out? You know what? Push out. Try it. You can definitely push out here. I know you can. I do not envy a single person here. Pushing out there, pushing out here. Oh, uh, soon enough, we will push out here too. Didn't think that's, we'd actually be able to do this like this, but whatever. Here we are. Nice. Electrification, farming subsidies. Very cool. Oh, we have to deal with this. God dang it. Eh, I don't want to deal with that. I don't. A trial of the traders' companies. It's time for Congress to hear the testimony of the rebellious companies. Some are advocating for their just their executives to resign, while others insist on piercing the corporate veil. This would allow the government to proceed or prosecute individual shareholders as responsible for decisions made. And man, we'll see. Oh, we still have the part of the fleet. Yeah, there's a lot of convoys here. Holy crap. Oh, you guys made it. Great. Go in. 
We need your plane tier too anyway, so. Go here too. Oviedo, uh, however you pronounce that. Nice. You're pushing out. The Marines are pushing out. The infantry is pushing out. We definitely need to get more manpower next too. Oh, we're defeated there, huh? Sucks. Fine. I like the green. Green is good. So new scene, Chad. Don't really care. Just keep sinking. Keep sinking. Keep sinking. Keep sinking. We can find some way to break through here. Just like right here would be great. And then we'll have a united front just pushing out this way to get over here. And then push all the way through here. I think it capitulate Switzerland too. Yeah, I'd like a free Switzerland. And free as in, like, paid for us in blood. America's looking pretty good. I love American colonialism. <sighs> German divisions... Destroyed. Honestly, let's just come here too. Oh, they're pushing us through here too, huh? Not for long. Not for long. Oh, Rwanda's gone. Nice. Not a big win there, but hey, it's still a win. Yeah, why do we go to war with the Germans or the Reichspack? Don't ask me. I don't know. I'm just here to click buttons and have a good time. And a lot of the time, it's not a fun time, but sometimes it is. Sometimes. sometimes. How's air? Eh, it's okay-ish. We're doing a lot of damage, though, which I do appreciate. It's just slow and laggy, that's all. We have only 80 divisions there. Oh, you're Urundi. Nice. Good job, guys. I knew they were tough to beat, but I had the utmost confidence in you. As that, especially as we're going, to, to, going towards Zambezia. So many colors. Green and red here. Belbao. Oh, we just need one of these two. Take this, and they're going to. All these divisions will literally die here. Or they'll die in the water next to here, because the subs are just devastating right now. Please, please, please. Come on, Marines. You got this. Yes. Oh, we cut him off. We literally cut him off. Oh, my gosh. There's so many divisions here. Look at this. That's at least 70, 80 divisions. That could be roughly about 100 divisions here. Oh, my goodness. This is like the Bayon Pocket. The Bayon Pocket. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Actually, hold on. So, 114.39 million casualties so far. And we're going to add this into the mix, too, soon. German operative captured, huh? Oh, we have only could take Bayon. Which I know I'm saying wrong, but whatever. Oh my goodness. 50 flipping divisions. Just, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a massacre here. 14.39 million. That's what I'm remembering right now. Just, oh, there's a, there's literally over 100 divisions here. Literally over 100. Holy crap. This is the biggest encirclement I've ever done. A hundred plus divisions. On, oh, oh, please. I want to see this red. Oh, I want to see this red, man. Oh, boy. Oh, we, oh, we didn't get an overrun them. Darn it. Oh, but that would have been so nice. All right, so you guys did great. Now we're going to have a solid front line. I did not expect us to get this far yet. Okay, so about one and a half million died between everything there. Oh, my goodness. Literally one of the largest things I've ever done there. Large in That's that's absolutely brutal. 1.1 million from the Metal Africa. We've killed 3.6 million Germans by ourselves. We've taken three quarters of a million ourselves, but and we've killed off two and a half million Ukrainians. What of you? Of all places, Ukraine. Three. Two. One. Let's probably not win. <laughs> Yeah, Toulouse is going to be a ma- Oh my gosh, that's so many. Yeah, this is going to be a giant issue for us. Pentagon's finished! With the final wing finally finished, the uh, War Department's finally found its own home and new building now sports are 
Sports a reinforced concrete structure using 680,000 tons of sand dredged from the Potomac River and Indiana limestone for the building's facade. It occupies 28.7 acres and includes an additional 5.1 acres as a central courtyard, with the hallway being so large that messengers are being issued. Uh, with roller skates and bikes to speed up messaging between offices. Our national defense better be assured from now on. See what we can do about this, if anything. I mean, they have no equipment. At least they should have very, 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 very little equipment left. If they have any. And after that, we'll be done with the left side, and all we have left is increased military spending. Congress must approve of a larger military budget for the coming year. That undoubtedly help the civilian economy down the line, but of course we got to do the Screaming Eagles program. General John C.H. Lee is insisting on hanging off on a new experiment in air assault done in response to hang glider operations pioneered in Europe with Air Force forces. Or airborne force will be able to overwhelm defenders from multiple angles in ways that was impossible decades ago. As such, a general staff is authorized experimenting and funding and shall be diverted to do it. Get some paratroopers, huh? Very nice. Oh, combo is very nice, too. Oh, there's another segment. Nice. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. You're doing so much better than I thought you would, especially without, like, air superiority. Like, that's 10,000 flipping fighters. That's ridiculous. Can you guys actually push out? You know what? You you actually ca probably can't push out. Well, obviously not right there because you literally have a single division fighting there. But through here, maybe. Through here, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely going to be slow going, but we've got the spirit. I definitely don't want to go to a service by requirement just yet, though. We can definitely get up through here. The southern portion here sucks. The northern portion is quite a bit better, though. Oh, what's this? Oh. Devastating loss for us all. It is what it is. Um. Absolutely devastating. What if you did the English Channel 2? We are, it's just so much fighting. Just so much. Ladder shooting, nice. Well, we're still green, somewhat. Decrypt their ciphers. What if we decrypt their ciphers? We're getting close. <sighs> My goodness. We're slowly pushing them, though. Luckily, these guys went in the Belgrade Pact is coming to the war as well, so that definitely helps us out. I hate this part so much. Australasian Confederation, why? Actually, anything up here? Oh, yeah. Nice. Germany, you've got to be out of equipment. You have to be out of equipment. Yeah, they definitely are. Are we out of equipment, too? We're out of artillery. That's pretty bad, too. We need more mechanized. We need so much aluminum, it's not even funny. That's quite a few medium tanks, though. Um, we could try that, maybe. Crap, that's not good. I mean, we are. It doesn't look like it, but we're still slowly winning here, so. Five. We overran some divisions right there, too. Get some more convoys, just in case. Some cheap. Some we can probably most definitely make. We're definitely doing stuff down here in Africa, though. Can't imagine France keeping this up. 
Come on, they have like 10 divisions. Nice. There's just so much to take out. Anyone else have upgrades? Yeah, they do. Or there's improvements? Huh. Here, how about you hold? You guys still went into there, that's, which is fine with me. We get some more planning done. That'll be good. Let him attack us maybe a little bit. Get some more artillery first because we're out of like 1,500 units of it, which sucks. Uh, do we need more supplies here? Can we add any more dockyards? Maybe? Infrastructure, perhaps? Good stuff like that, maybe? Oh, you guys definitely got to stop. Hold on. You guys got to hold, hold, hold. Which one is still not giving up? Kind of impressive. Alright. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Um. I'm gonna take you out. This is stupid. Give some time to make plenty of artillery. Only missing 24 a day. So what about the traitorous companies? Nothing. Okay. Got a lot of social liberal support though. We we'll have to go down to limit exports though. Does hurt our output though, which was not very good for us. Oh, we're only on partial mobilization. Well, let's see what we can do when we do that. Let me use this as well. Can't force the attack, but we're doing relatively okay ish. Some green, a lot of red, not good. We're gonna have to use cons commands, but if I, I will if I have to, like, I'm getting sick and tired of this. Oh, it's just constant, just grind, grind, grind. Lake Game Hoi 4 sucks so much. Especially when you don't have air superiority because you don't have enough aluminum. Because the game doesn't reward you with enough aluminum. So, I'll probably have to grind a little bit of this off of screen. Trial the weapons companies. A number of weapons companies have fought for the various traders and rebels against America. During the war, some weapons manufacturing companies chose the wrong side and decided to aid the enemy by producing guns and ammo of the enemy air warfare. Warfare. War effort. Holy crap, I'm tired. Thus, a hearing has been brought before Congress to decide their fate, with the lawyers pleading that the defense had no say and were forced to develop weaponry through the enemy. Should we allow them to operate again, or shall they be regarded as traitors and treated as such? Traitors treated as such? Uh, new companies will be available. Eh. Oh, more social liberalism for now. Also, I'll be honest here, I just deleted enemy divisions. I am got. I get tired of this sometimes. Like, it's such a huge grind. Is it fair? No, but at the same time, it's not fair to us that we don't get more Aluminum. That's just crap to us. So I'm like, okay, we'll make a balance by getting rid of some of the enemy divisions. So they want a massive air force, so be it. Uh, just, I mean, we're going to win in the end anyways. Like, let's be real here. We've already killed off literally 18 million of them. Like, I think we're allowed at least a little bit of leeway here. But the first pair drop exercises. Well, technically speaking, the first pair drop in exercise were practiced in 1930 with the biplanes dropping machine gun squads. Today, a major breakthrough has been achieved in the airborne department. After finishing, uh... Uh, rigorous conditioning and training program started two weeks ago. Lottery was made to decide the jump in order to experiment or pair drop and platoon made up of volunteers. When the Douglas C-33 took off from the Langley Airfield and finally was put in position to start the experiment, Second Lieutenant William T. Ryder, oh, hello, uh, became the first American paratrooper after making his jump and landing near Fort Benning. The second man, however, refused to jump, and so the first enlisted man to become a paratrooper was Private Williams and Red King and the remaining platoon members in the aircraft. After their touchdown, they quickly reached a rendezvous point and completed their exercise goals, making the experiment a success. Start scheduling new jumps, and they're traitors. Nice. So yeah, I apologize for like using cons commands, but at the same time, I don't care. I don't care anymore. I really don't give a crap. Just because we're going to win anyways. Let's be real here. We're going to win. Aviation companies, we're not at 100% yet, so... But yeah, that just whatever. If you can't tell that we're gonna win here in the end, I'm sorry, but we are. Even if we weren't gonna use cons commands, it's just speeding it up. 
German's gonna fall anyways. They're out of equipment. There's nothing they can do. Uh, so, yeah. I know I'm gonna get some blowback from using Khan's commands, but I don't care. I just don't care anymore. I've, I've, I've grinded enough Hoi 4 in my entire life to never grind again. So, whatever, man. Whatever. Besides, it saves time, too. Especially as you can tell from the title of this video. It's the, it's the last episode, too. So, just saying. But yeah, I delete a lot of enemy divisions, naval companies, Brittany's gone. Uh, there you go. Look at all that air. Oof. A lot of BS that we don't get to import any more equipment. I guess, my god, it's just so much. You guys are still doing stuff in Africa, which I'm sorry. But oh well. Yeah, I can take Cherbourg as well. That'd be great, 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 great. Swiss State. Oh. Dutch boys, there you go, thank you. And industrial companies. Well, we're already at 100% social liberalism support, so. Allow them to operate again? Nah. A lot of pee pee, though. We can go to liberalize trade. But then we can go ahead and go back down and limit exports, because we need... Well, honestly, we need that aluminum. Oh, well, whatever. And also, deleting enemy divisions, it, it's just so laggy, this game. I wish it had a better engine, but whatever. So now we got these guys over here. Even then, we still got off 18 million of them, my goodness. I mean, it'd be one thing if we had nukes. But even then, nukes and Hoi 4 are just not worth it. Generally, they can be pretty effective sometimes, but oh well. Nice. That's definitely all against Germany. Most definitely. France has got to give it up. Come on, France. The rights of man? Man has no rights. No rights that he's willing to die for. Switzerland's still holding out, though. Enemy agent turn, that's good. Still lots and lots of green. It was not good. I mean, it's such a god awful grind. So I don't like playing a lot of Kaiserreich. Any other upgrades at the very least? No, that sucks. You guys honestly should be doing better than this. Get to the north here. Uh, sure, why not? We're getting baited somewhere here. Oh, look at that, nice. Nice. After increasing military spending, new arms factories? The main trouble with creating a military industry is that facilities under our control are already reduced from the Great Depression to reduced redundancies. We always had to expand facilities and repurpose old buildings in order to manufacture parts needed for heavy weapons in our territory. Followed up with Liberty Bonds. Funding the war effort will require more than just victory gardens of volunteerism. Liquid assets are in short supply, especially with our economic programs ongoing. We can capitalize on public trust and implement war bonds as most other free nations do. My god, even after deleting some of the enemy divisions, this is still so god awful. We should have just deleted the Air Force, to be honest. Because they're just doing way too much damage to us. How can you compete against that? Oh, there goes France. Well, that's one way to compete against them, I guess. Why do we have enough command power? Oh, because we have like no war support, that's why. More ground crews for Northern France. National Healthcare Act, might as well. Some more war propaganda too. Come on, just get to Germany. Actually, who do we have to capitulate? Is it we got France done. We need Italy done and Germany and Bulgaria. Oh my god. Okay, this is take gonna take way too long. I'll be honest, yeah, this is gonna take way, 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 way too long. Why? Honestly, there should be a cap on the amount of major powers. Like, there should be like three max for campaigns. Because this just takes so flippin' long. For no reason. Literally no reason. Oh, 
I'm glad that the French are dead, but my god, come on. Oh. Um, how much anti air do we Are we making anti We are making some anti air, huh? Yeah, that would definitely help. Now we're out of anti air. And artillery, too, but whatever. Nice. Are they flooding through here, too? Oh, my goodness. Come on, just keep going. Honestly, with anti-air here, we should really be shooting down quite a few of these planes. Once you guys start flying out more and then link up through here, uh, that's not good. Please, just capitulate Belgium fast. Please. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we won't be able to capitulate these guys. I might just use console commands to just annex them. Yeah, that's, again, this is, this is really tiring. It's really boring. Uh... And at least they'll finish some of the focus tree up as well. But still. This is BS. Formation of the 1st Paratrooper Divisions. With the success of our schedule of Mass Johnson and the blessing of General John C.H. C. H. Lee, the recently reopened Fort at Eustace has been taking volunteers for paratroop units. While originally the high training standards and relatively high mortality risk, or mortal risk, initially caused few volunteers to show up, the high command authorized a triplication of the paratrooper wage as opposed to the foot soldier wage. Soon enough, the 501st Paratroop Battalion was formed, fo quickly followed by the battalions and regiments. After a week of recruitment, the number of volunteers was enough to form five paratrooper divisions for us to utilize. While these divisions still lack combat experience, this breakthrough in airborne tactics should not be underestimated. And the high command is looking forward to seeing their investment in these divisions, divisions pay off. Death from above. Cool. Well, this is a guy that knows which sides. Awesome. Thanks, paratroopers. Come on over here. Good luck in, in this part. Actually, do the Marines have, uh... They don't have anti-air either. That sucks. You're gonna need a lot of anti-air where we're headed. My god, just give it up. You've lost 20 million people. Almost 20 million. Oh, we actually have green air up here, too, huh? New tank associate assemblies? Armored warfare will change the face of the battlefield forever. We cannot sit idly by as we're already armed, and with a tank, we may be able to beat our enemies in a matter of weeks instead of years. As such, it will be a priority for us to build more of these deadly machines so that we may be ready for the fight for freedom not only in America, but on the whole world. Oh, there goes those guys. That's good. Another good step. Straight into the heart of Germany. It's by promote very good. Oh, the Germans don't seem like they have a lot of divisions in Germany, but then again, we're barely on the border of Germany, so. Good, kill them off. Kill them off, 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 off. Well, everybody, the game was lagging so hard that I just got frustrated. I'm like, I'm sick of this. So I just annexed the entire world, just because in the end, we're going to win anyways. Uh, I hate, I hate late game Hoi 4. Late game Hoi 4 is one of the worst things you could do. I mean, I'll, just the grind, the extreme grind. Now, I I complained about this earlier, and it makes sense, but I'm going to complain about the other reason. It, it's so laggy. Late game Kaiserreich is incredibly laggy. I don't know what people, the devs did for Equestria War, which isn't mod I have to go back to sometimes because it's so good, but like, the game is so laggy and it's so grindy at the end that... It, no one would want to really play it, so I got tired of it. I just annexed everybody. We were gonna win in the end, anyways, but like, it's just a major grind that really. I'm surprised that the devs haven't even tried to speed it up anymore, just because it's possible to, especially if you look at what the Equestria War has done. But I've used Cons commands. I don't care. I played more than enough Hoi Four legitly in my entire life. To, to feel free to use console commands pretty much in any campaign I feel like at this point. So, hey, regard yourself. If you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a great, 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 great rest of your day.